I'm in Christchurch at the Physics Room Art Gallery with artist Richard Orgis and a whole lot of coal. I'm going to help Richard set up his new installation, Welcome to the Jungle, due to open in a few hours' time. So Richard, tell me about the coal. Well, it's kind of this element that I'm using for my new cult. I was attracted to it because it's just so beautiful. Look at it, it's just shiny and black. I like the idea that it's a fuel, but I mean, it could be diamonds, you know? I like that link that it's something really plain and humble that could eventually be something amazing. I've built this fictional cult that is like, they worship it. So during the opening, there's gonna be some performances centered around it, but I'd like to get into more of a circle. Let's give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing here is I'm creating the cult of Christchurch. Basically, in my work, I relate coal to Christchurch, and Christchurch has a great history of something very orderly being actually under the surface, you know, awry. And I'm, you know, like I'm bringing up that sort of, you know, my personal interest in the, in the environment. Yep, perfect. So shoulders towards me, and then sort of look into the distance at that object. That's We've great. invited people over the last two days awesome. to come in and be photographed. Well, it is very diverse. It's been a lot of different age groups, different genders. The process is people coming in, getting dusted with coal, and those portraits will be projected from floor to ceiling on the back of the gallery. We're trying to achieve sort of a rite of passage, kind of pagan chaos event with music and people walking around covered in coal. So it's an interesting element to be using in your show. Yeah, um, coal's the latest element that I'm exploring and I've always used the natural in my work and sort of juxtaposed it with other elements. For the last few years, I've been working on a project I call My Empire of Dirt. It was an earth-worshipping pagan s cult. I did these portraits with mud on paper of these fictional members. They almost look like watercolours, but it's just mud and water on paper. And then to juxtapose that, I did these really intense artificial portraits. They're collages of a lot of different elements. Basically, I get a model in a studio on a black background. So that will be one photograph. I constructed some flower garlands for them, but a lot of that process is actually bringing them afterwards in Photoshop. I don't have any qualms about Photoshop. I don't think it's a lie because I think all art is a lie that tells you the truth, you know? So I really actually revel in that experience of being able to control everything. And I sort of feel I'm just doing what everybody else is doing in the photographic medium, but I've gone to the extremes and, and I don't worry about things not looking real and not looking natural. And that's where works like Flower Idol and Wreath came out of. I like that idea of jarring two opposite things together. Okay, Ross, it's your turn. <laughs> so, Richard, what's the coding in coal ritual? Well, it's kind of, I want to, I mean, when you form a cult, you kind of need an identifier with that group. You know how most cults, they have some sort of signifier. So, since they're worshipping coal, the fiction's kind of extended to being covering in coal. Yeah, no. It feels like I'm falling apart, all the coals sort of settled and now it's shifting and just drip, dripping on, falling on the floor actually. It's, it's not a bad feeling, I feel quite healthy somehow because of it. I don't know why. When I think about my work and when people have talked about it, they describe it as fitting into this idea of New Zealand Gothic. And I don't want to sort of close the work off too much, but I can see that it has a, this darkness that is present in a lot of um, New Zealand art. So what are you looking for in the expression, Richard? You know, I kind of look at everything and I get just, you know, like the first feeling I get when I look at it, and it will be to do with the eyes normally. I want them to look a little thoughtful and dreamy, so I want that kind of feeling, that idea of just keep on separating it from maybe reality, and, and I just want a red, and I'll basically just take out the luminosities. I've never really liked black and white photography, just kind of a bit of a colorist. You know, when you shoot black and white, you don't have to worry about too much in terms of color or the type of lights you have. And, yeah. So I, I kind of work in the same way to me. I'm happy with that, and that's it. So, yeah, so that's your portrait. You're in the cult. <laughs> it doesn't. It look, doesn't look like you, eh? It's it doesn't quite look weird. Like me. Yeah. 
This is the other element of the exhibition. So the concept here is we're filling this uh, black station wagon with flowers. I mean, I've always been interested in flowers, so it's kind of this natural progression, and I kind of see it as a travelling greenhouse. But, you know, then it's got this dark sort of thing where it could, you know, it could be a hearse. And to me, it's about cults and initiation rituals, and I mean, I started to drive when I was 26, so, like, learning to drive was this big deal for me. And I, I love cars. I think they're beautiful. Every kid needs his car, right? Eh? Yeah. You know, ride a passage. And I don't know, it's something about the car. You know, it's an underdog at the moment, you know? Like, there's so much bad press about having cars. And sometimes I like, I like those guilty pleasures. So this physics room's on the second story up there. It's the floor with all the blinds closed because we've got to close them for the projection. And so obviously we can't have a car in the gallery. Um, so we're going to just relate it to right in front here. And it's kind of a nice courtyard. We're going to have people pouring like between this space and the gallery. As the first of the cult members and viewing public arrive, Richard takes a moment to slip into character. I'm wearing this wig because it's part of my ritualistic outfit. It's about mystery and disguise and not making what's happening about me, but I'm an observer as well. Things have kind of taken on their own life, which I'm quite excited about. I've enlisted new cult members and they're going crazy. I didn't have any expectations and I think they've far exceeded what I initially had thought might happen. Well, the show's going really well. People, I think, are enjoying the work. I know I am. It's been really good to see all these elements come together in, in a proper setting. And the photo of me, just looking at it on the wall, it doesn't actually look like me. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. There's one more ritual to go, so we'll see. vocalist Shannon just blew my mind and what he did was totally his idea so I'm really happy with it and I love that idea of something being planned but then it just goes into chaos it becomes something else than you could ever hope for. I really got what I wanted with much more than I could ever hope for I just think it's so beautiful. I'm very happy I think it was a total success. Mm -hmm.